Forsberg. It's all about Grant Williams today. All about Batman. When you play that well, you get the whole segment to yourself. And, like, look, Grant has been, I can make the case that he's been the MVP of the playoffs. Mm. And I've got some numbers to prove it. So we're going to start with 55.2, which is what he's shooting beyond the three-point arc. It feels like we've done this bit, like, 47 times on Forsberg 4 this year. But here's the thing. Grant's threes have been magical this year, and he just keeps getting better and better and better. He is they got the league's best in the playoffs with anyone beyond 10 attempts. And well, we're just going to keep rolling him here in the background. <laughs> At one point against the Nets, he was blowing kisses Ooh. for hitting threes. Last night, he was putting up the six, the six fingers. I was about to say, the six fingers like, for the threes. It's he's all got the a little bit of sass here. It's coming up, right? Boom. There it is. Mm. He's like, got threes on both hands. So uh, Grant's playing with a little bit of swagger right now. And you, you love to see it. Yeah, definitely love to see Grant Williams out there playing with that swag. All right, what's coming up next? All right, number two is 36. 6.8, and that is what two seven-foot former MVPs are shooting against Grant in these playoffs, and that would be Kevin Durant and Giannis Antetokounmpo. And it just—I marveled in round one when Grant took on that assignment. Now Jason Tatum set the tone with Kevin Durant and went out there and battled them. Grant in game two, especially, just took on the challenge. He's like, "Look, I'm going to go one-on-one -on -one with Giannis, and we're going to live with whatever happens." And that was allowed. His teammates to stay on shooters. He gave up the body. I mean, that's not fun, catching Ooh. an elbow from the Greek freak right in your chin. Uh, but holding him to 8 of 18 shooting so far for the entire series, 5.2% below expected field goal percentage. Grant can muscle up bigger dudes. Mm -hmm. He can get switched on to Kyrie and Drew Holiday and move those puppies and stay in front of them. And it's just cool to see that Grant is evolving as a defensive player. He was in the bubble. He was like a small ball five, and then he lost his way, kind of bulked up, didn't know what he was. All of a sudden now we know very much what he is. He's sort of like an elevated version of P.J. Tucker. And if he keeps hitting threes and playing defense like this, he's going to get himself a nice payday this summer when he's extension eligible. And you're also seeing Grant Williams just get more confidence on that end. I don't know if he's, confidence was ever a problem. Even when he was like was over 25. The way that if you watched sure. him last night beating his chest while he's guarding Giannis <laughs> Antetokounmpo, I mean, I've never seen this side of Grant Williams. I know I haven't been here that long, Forsberg, but this Grant Williams that we're seeing on the defensive end of the floor, I like it. I, same, and like, look, he is he is loud. Oh, he yeah, is not, absolutely. Not, not bashful, that Grant Williams. <laughs> not bashful. All right, what's coming in at number three? All right, number three is 173. And honestly, I made this number up. But I think it exemplifies, when you watch Grant Williams defending Giannis, there's all these moments where Giannis is trying to get to the basket, and it's just, boom, stonewall. Stonewall. So I'm going 173 Stonewall so far this season. Watch this one. Mm. Oh, he's just not even not even a chance to, like that Giannis is going to get to the basket. What defenders are finding out is that you think you can muscle Grant because he's listed at six foot six, and I would say he's maybe even a little bit lower than that. And he, all these seven footers come in and they're like, all right, I'm just going to back him down. Boom, resistance as soon as he gets hit. He's so strong for his position, and that gives him a chance to compete against these bigger players. It's such a luxury to be able to have that happen when Giannis is coming with a full head of steam and just wants to Euro step his way to the basket and Grant offers the resistance. He needs to continue to do that. And I feel bad because it cannot feel good to have the Giannis running into you at full steam. Mm. Uh, and just, you know, sometimes he didn't even get the charge call. Yeah. So it, hey. Good for Grant for giving up the body. Wait, so you say you made up the number 173. Is that how many times you think he just kind of took those hits I'm, by Giannis? Like, I, didn't have enough, I didn't have enough time to go through like, and look, get a, a hey, definitive number. Look, so, and, and, but that's what it looks like. It looks like 173 <laughs> from us, from, from our perspective. All right, last but not least, what's coming in at number four? We're having fun. Like, just to exemplify what a winner Grant has turned into, uh, I was talking to him the other day, and I said, hey, what's going on with that rock, paper, scissors before Ooh. games that he plays with Jalen? And it turns out he says that his winning percentage is about 0.700 this season. He's he thinks so he's won excited. 50 of the 70 matchups that the two played during the regular season. I'm not sure what the postseason numbers are right now, but as you can see, mm. like every clip we pulled is Grant winning. So he says that Jalen has become a little bit too predictable. He knows what he's going to throw. He says he also, when he beats him the first time, so say he beats him rock over scissors, he knows that Jalen's going to come back with rock mm -hmm. the next game, and he's ready with paper, and Grant is just dominating the rock, paper, scissor battle right now. It's a mental thing with Grant Williams, but also do you see how excited he gets when he <laughs> beats Jalen Brown every single time? I've never seen anybody get that excited over rock, paper, scissors. He is the ultimate competitor, whether it's board games or whatever is going on out on the court. He just wants to win, and I think that 
is all you ever want in a basketball player, and it's exemplified by the way Grant Williams wants to win. If he's excited about a rock, paper, scissor battle, like, man, mm. winning a game, playoff game has to be, I can't even imagine what he's like in the locker room. Well, if you know Grant Williams, you know that he loves board games. You have to mm -hmm. go to our past post-up episodes for that. <laughs>